All right, Dan. So as you know, um, my uh, my tow haul switch wasn't working. You know, hit the switch. Nothing happens. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it wouldn't. So I'm like, okay, probably got a bad switch in here. That sucks. You got to replace this whole arm. Now, recently, you'd, I'd start the truck, and the tow haul would already be on. So I'm like, shit. I'm driving in tow haul. It's a nice hard sh- one two shift. Getting nine miles to the gallon. I'm like, okay, I, I got to replace this arm. So. I'm like, let me let me break this thing down. See what I'm dealing with here. Now, uh, this top cover here is the top uh, trim piece that co- that covers all this, and it's held on pretty good, dude. It wouldn't budge. I'm like, what the hell? And upon further uh, inspection, right here at this hole, there's an inverted torx that points up this way. An inverted torx, dude. You can barely see. I don't know what size it is. It's pretty small. It's hidden, man. Sneaky, sneaky bastards at GM. So, upon further um, investigation, I notice that my tow haul switch doesn't work because the damn wire is broken. There you go. Just kind of hanging off in space. Here's the other end. But my concern is inside this orange wire, there's two smaller wires. So I'm guessing one, um. One's a reference and one's a signal. I'm like, okay, I don't, I gotta uh, figure out which one's which now. I'm debating whether I should just solder it or just replace the damn thing. I'm leaning towards replacing it. But that's it, man. That's crazy how that broke. It was held in was like right in this thing right here. Sneaky, man. That's probably what broke it, man. And everything's all greasy and shit in here. That's it, man. Uh, probably just gonna follow the wire, see where it goes, and just replace the damn thing. Alright, D Walsh out.